The moment we have theorized about, dreamed of, and feared for all of human history has arrived, and it is nothing like what we imagined. Before I reveal the data, I need you to do something critical. Comment your country and nearest major landmark below. Your specific location right now may hold a key piece of this global puzzle that official agencies are desperately trying to solve. In the last 72 hours, a coordinated effort has begun to catalog visual anomalies reported from every continent. What you have seen matters. What I am about to tell you will redefine not just our future, but our entire past. We are not merely being visited. We are being addressed. And the entity we designated 3i Atlas is the messenger. For my entire career, I have existed in the space between established science and the profound mysteries at its edge. I have discussed non-human intelligence as a statistical probability, a fascinating variable in the Drake equation. I have analyzed potential technosignatures and the architecture of hypothetical Dyson spheres. I spoke in the future tense, the subjunctive mood, the careful language of academic speculation. That time is over. A transmission has been received. A line of communication has been opened. And the content of that first message has forced a fundamental recalibration of our species' cosmic standing. The object we named 3i Atlas, a visitor from the void between stars, has not just signaled us. It has engaged us in a dialogue for which we are catastrophically unprepared. Let's re-examine the timeline. Its detection was itself an outlier. Following Omamyo's enigmatic passage and Comet Borisov's more predictable flight, 3i Atlas entered our periphery on a vector that was immediately flagged as aberrant. Its path wasn't a chaotic tumble or a simple hyperbolic arc. It was a deliberate, sweeping reconnaissance run through the orbital plane of the inner terrestrial worlds. In a secure briefing room at the European Southern Observatory, when the refined trajectory model was displayed, the silence was absolute. A senior orbital dynamicist finally whispered, that's a search pattern. The object was methodically surveying the life friendly zone of our solar system. Then, 17 days ago, the signal manifested. It was not found by accident. The Green Bank Telescope was tasked with a dedicated monitoring shift, a protocol enacted after the trajectory anomalies were confirmed. The data stream that flooded its receivers was multiplexed polychromatic and structurally complex beyond any natural astrophysical source. I was granted access to the raw analysis suite 48 hours later. Hearing the audio translation, cascade of harmonic frequencies resolving into geometric progressions of sound was a visceral humbling experience. It was cognition rendered into vibration. It was a language built not on words, but on interdependent physical and mathematical principles. We are not receiving a hello. We are being administered an examination. The terror of the awe stems from the signal's intent. Decryption teams from Oxford to Tokyo have isolated its core framework. It is an assessment battery. 3i Atlas is probing the collective intelligence threshold of humanity. It has posed a series of interlinked puzzles rooted in quantum gravity, topological mathematics, and even axiomatic ethical philosophy. It is testing our capacity for unified problem solving, for synthesizing knowledge across disciplines. Think of the implication an automated artifact launched millennia ago from a star we cannot identify, arrives and immediately begins grading our civilizational maturity. Others fought for a demonstration of synthetic creativity, algorithms that generate novel art, music based on celestial harmonics. The final composite transmission was a mosaic of human achievement, from Euler's identity to the double helix, from Batch to a proof of the Poincaré conjecture. We beamed our resume into the dark. The acknowledgement was instantaneous. Not figuratively, physically instantaneous, our transmission ended and a new, more dense data package began arriving from 3i Lassa's position 43 minutes later. The light speed delay should have been hours. This was either pre-cognition or non-local quantum communication. Both possibilities shatter our understanding of physics. This second signal contains schematics, not for simple tools, but for technologies that read like magic engines that twist the fabric of the quantum vacuum, data processors that use entangled space-time itself as a substrate. But woven into these gifts was a map, a census of galactic intelligence, and our position on it is a knife's edge. Humanity resides at a precipice, a developmental cliff that most civilizations like us never seem to scale. 
The data implies a great filter, but not a natural one, a managed one, a galactic process. And the vast, silent majority of species that reach our stage of vanish from the record. 3i Atlas is not a lone scout. It is a terminal in a network, a silent web that has encircled our world for longer than recorded history. The transmissions reference monitoring epochs. Our first atomic detonations, our initial television and radio broadcasts, the launch of Sputnik. Every leap was noted, filed, assessed. We have lived our entire history in a cosmic observatory, believing ourselves alone in the exhibit. The quarantine, it seems, has now been lifted by the observers. But to what end? The analysis community is fractured. One group sees an invitation to a galactic commons, a lifeline thrown to a struggling young civilization. The other sees a safeguard protocol, a mechanism to prune species that develop technology faster than wisdom, that become potential galactic pathogens. The messages referencing containment protocols are the most chilling. Then, five nights ago, 3i Atlas moved. It fired onboard thrusters we never detected, shed what appeared to be a stealth shift, and shifted from a solar trajectory into a high geosynchronous orbit above the Mariana Trench. It is now parked there, a new unwavering star in our heavens. The official silence broke because the object itself broke it. 72 hours ago, a bypass signal was broadcast not to our satellites, but through them, it hijacked global networks. For three seconds, every connected screen on Earth displayed the same image, that cognitive map, with a single, pulsing prompt translated into every written language. P. Ravidi U. A. N. S. B. E. R. The global shockwave is still expanding. So here we are, a species staring at its own reflection in a cosmic mirror, held up by a machine from another sun. The question is no longer, we alone. It is, what are we, and what will we become? Are we a worthy emergence, a novel thread of consciousness to be woven into the galactic tapestry? Or are we a flaw, a dangerous anomaly to be corrected? The transmissions continue daily, each layer more complex, probing deeper into our societal cohesion, our environmental stewardship, our handling of artificial intelligence and genetic engineering. These are not academic queries. They are evaluation criteria. I lie awake now, wrestling with a duality of hope and dread. Perhaps there are ancient, benevolent minds behind this network, guiding fledgling species through their technological adolescence. Or perhaps the universe has a strict, unforgiving immune system. We spent millennia asking if we were alone. We never asked if we were welcome. This is our final exam, and we never knew we were enrolled. Our homework is our entire history. Our grade will determine our cosmic fate. Look up tonight. That new light in the sky is 3i Atlas. It is listening. It is judging. And the answer it is waiting for is not one we speak with words. It is the answer we are building right now with every action, every conflict, every act of compassion or cruelty on this fragile blue world. So I ask you, not as a scientist, but as a fellow human caught in this unprecedented moment, what is our answer? Are we a unified civilization capable of cosmic maturity or a divided planet on the path to self-destruction? Comment below with your country, your landmark, and your verdict. Are we ready? The next transmission is due in 18 hours. Follow Astro Atlas as we decode the universe's final warning. We are tracking every bite, analyzing every symbol. This story is evolving in real time, and your awareness is part of the human response. Like this video to support bringing this critical information to light, and subscribe to Astro Atlas to witness history unfold. Because the probe is in orbit, the test is underway, and the clock on humanity's final grade is ticking down.